Hello. Where the hell it go? Oh my gosh. Hello, Shin. Hello. Come on. It was here just a second ago. Damn it! Crashed again. It was working as long as I wasn't online. As soon as I went live. What the hell? Work? Okay, thank you. tutorial yes i am watching a tutorial right now um timer dot starts oh come drop the mod why not is it because i'm supposed to be doing it in here no it this is good why is it not because creep story does not inherit now. Why not? Do it! Tama? This has been a very frustrating day today and I have a crazy headache. <sighs> but I said I would do this today. I want to make it happen. Okay, so. Okay, we're not. Let's do it in here then. If you don't want to do it in the other one. So, war timer through, I just made it up. <laughs> if you have a headache, go to sleep. I'm going to sleep, Dharma, but I really told myself that this is something I wanted to make happen today. Wait, timer dot start. So, it's not supposed to, it's not even supposed to be hard. That's why I want to make it happen today. What I want to do is to make in five seconds that store appear and then five seconds later that store appear. It's not like it's complicated. It's the easiest thing to do. I can do it though. I'm telling you. Listen to me, G script is very similar to Python. In the variable and writing sense, perhaps you go over a basic Python coding course. Why would I go over Python if I'm using Godot? 
I need to know the G script if it's the same. What would I use Python for? You see, you will get the logic in your free time, of course. Well, I've been watching a lot of G script videos to learn the basics of it because there are very similar languages. There's already a lot of courses on G script. There are courses on the G script that I'm looking at. But watching a tutorial and doing the thing, it's so much different. I'm at the beach, damn. Can you ban yourself? <laughs> what you doing at the beach? Are you having a good time? I love the ocean. The ocean is the best. It's 25%. Are you talking about the battery? Well then get off your phone and enjoy yourself. Then go swim or something. I know, right? I know, right? Looks like I can't. Why not? Okay, timer starts. What about next? No, it's not like that. It's timer dot start. Wait, is there a dot dot in the air? Is that dot dot in the air? Why do you put a dot dot in the air? Okay, that's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, timer starts. Five seconds. Is this an animation? I'm trying to. Isn't the ocean the America's very cold though? Why would it be cold? Only very north in the south. Yeah, do this in the forest, it's hot. In the middle are tropical. Yeah, tropical ocean. <sighs> okay, funk ready, timer start. That's what I did, right? Yeah, yeah, have a fun day at the beach and I, I, I'll I, try to have like, you know, I'll try to minimize the headache, okay? Have a good time, brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Go have a good time, brother. Um, um, okay, and then print timer stop. Okay, let's try that. Timer stop. Is that what you want? Please do. Okay, why, what what do you want this? Is that like, that important? I can't leave it out. Wait, why are you dark now? What? Expected indented block of the Lambda Declaration. Star. Okay, so the star function ready. So, if timer starts, is that okay to do it like that? If timer dot start, um, hi. Is that 
not something that you can expect it after if condition okay to put a timer but it doesn't tell me how to show and hide To be fair, I did watch a tutorial about doing that, but it was unscratched. <laughs> it was unscratched, and I thought that it would probably have the same logic. It doesn't have the hide and seek logic, apparently. Um, if you look at that, visibility on modulate. It's not crashing anymore. Heck yeah. Okay, light mask. The rendering layers in which the canvas item respond to light to denote. Visibility layer. The rendering layer in which this canvas item is rendered by viewport node. The viewport will render a canvas item. If it and all its parents share a layer with the viewport canvas called mask. What's a call? What's a call? Cool? <laughs> How is that word? Use normal words! Um. Maybe this is the issue. Okay, if timer starts. Oh, okay. no, wait a sec. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. Um. If timer start. Um. A variation. Should I do a variation? Why not? A variation. Star one. Like that. Show. Because it's hidden by default. Uh, expecting intended block. Oh, I want to do more. Like that. Okay. Expected end of statement after. Variation declaration found instead. What? What? Uh, expected end of statement after variable declaration. 
End of statement. Oh, that? You didn't tell me you wanted that. Are you still not like it? Space? No, still not. It. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. What does the color mean, though? Does the color mean something? information okay um okay i'm not ending it the way it wants me to end it so okay how about i do that that and then i do that and that because i feel like it likes when i do this no Expecting end of stage, found literal what? Literal instead. Get full hole. How's it going? How's it going? It likes when you do this. <laughs> uh, you want me to click on it? It's not gonna change anything. Okay, so it doesn't like that. What, what about just the dot? Okay, and what about just the bracket still? Okay, like that. No? Found literal. What do you mean literal what? Um, keep going when you writing this nested instruction. The error might disappear when you end it. When I end it? Expected end of statement after variable declaration. Found literal instead. Okay, I think I got it. Um, so it doesn't like that, I think. That's the part it doesn't like. So I'm gonna put that in a bracket. Um, expected end of statement after a variable declaration. Oh, wait, it doesn't like the whole thing. It just wanted the story. But then... Huh? What? What? Oh. It just think that you're not done. <sighs> yeah, I'm not done. Um. Okay, what? what's happening now? Okay, it's not even running. Invite access to property or key start. Okay, uh, maybe I should put attach script. Okay. Alright, now does that work? I always forget to close it. Alright. Now that I give a, a script to the sprite. That's supposed to hide and no, nothing's happening. Invite access to property or key storage on a base object. Type no in systems. Var star just declares a variable, but it has no value and does nothing. It's function ready though. Oh wait. Function ready. Um okay, let's not void it then maybe that's the issue. And Okay. Okay, it's for it to know that it's ready though. one you get automatically and it means I do all these things at the start of the game yeah you just be there you be ready you start the timer and you make the star appear <sighs> the other one you get automatically means I do all these I do this all the time every frame 
So. Okay, so. Oh, wait. Oh, because I put the. Wait. Who is this? This is nobody. This is the one. Okay, the background. Touch script. Create. Don't void it. Don't void it. Okay, so it's ready to start again. The other one you get automatically, that means I do all this all the time. So that's, you do all this all the time. Sure, you be there all the time and that will make me happy. So... Um... Are you going to do it? <laughs> no, no, it's not doing it. Why does it always bring me back here? What does that mean? Persist Delta is all the time. That sounds good. I spent all week watching tutorials. This is crazy. And I'm stuck here. If you click a node, it shows you the attachment script. Yeah, I didn't click it. It always shows up when I start the thing. What is that? Dot four. So I want the timer to start, and I want that when the timer starts, the star shows. So the star script says if timer starts, var star. I just made that. <laughs> I don't remember what variation is. <clears throat> Alright, this thing is gonna make me cry. Um, okay, the if doesn't do anything yet. script here to start the time now and I put it on five seconds auto start it's on auto start I shouldn't even have to do that putting something in quotation marks makes it read it as a string of words oh oh yeah that's a string but it told me to do it like that. The tutorial told me to do the. What the hell? It says print timer stop. Oh, okay, because yeah, you wanted it to show. I don't care about it showing. I want the star to hide and show. Not to print it. Okay, function on timer timeout. How do I do an action? Oh, that looked so much easier on Scratch. Oh. Okay, what is the language for an action in Godot? Let me Google that. Timer. 
and then uh, you want two dots just because no do you prefer the brackets are you happy no i'm not happy this is not a real reference to copy something over you called control while dragging it i think called control do i control and no it doesn't work What? What is that? Hello, who are you? Timer, timer equal dollar sign. <laughs> now, timer is a real reference to timer. You can call variable timer. Uh, so, that is the variable is called timer. Is that what that is? Is that one that I hide? Is that or one? It's gone now. That hide. And then in bracket. You want the dots as well? I never know when he wants the dots and when he doesn't want them. Sometimes it's too large just because. Alright, um, only identifier, attribute access, and subscription access can be used as assignment target. Put that on ready at the start. And you can use put that on ready at the start. Here. So I put it here, star, it's star one, dot, height. Well, I see what you're trying to do, I don't want that equal here. Here? show you here i've got this and i want to start the timer when the timer start oh, when the timer start this shows and five seconds later it goes away and then i will make it so that one shows instead so that it does a progression the star becomes bigger that's what i want to make happen Okay, I see. By the way, hi people, I hope you're having a good day. Thank you for <laughs> coming in clutch to help. <laughs> I know you have experience with good art. Thank you for helping. I've been watching a lot of tutorials. So... Obviously, I know nothing. <laughs> That's a lot of scripts that do nothing, man. One is enough, and we just reference the star. I know, I was doing a tutorial for how to start the timer, and it was like that. They, they just do that. But I want something to come out, like, you know? So I, I just started makeup stuff. Oh, he probably wants this. It likes that as well. No? Oh. Got worse. He got worse. <laughs> um, make a fresh clips on just the main node. We do everything in there. Oh, I thought it would be cleaner to put a little bit of code in all of the scripts. So, because I don't even know what this one is. Should I delete that one? Because like the background is the sprite. So which one is the main? Is the background the main? Want me to delete everything? Oh mine is not like it's alive. Oh my god, Alex oh hi <laughs> Alex where hello Thank you for the raid Hi Yay Lex Raid Hello everyone welcome So 
Yeah, feel free to leave whenever you're ready. <laughs> Alex, for hello. Um, I'm learning a little bit of the code, and it, it's not gonna be happy. It's not gonna be uh, entertaining. So thank you so much for waiting. I hope you had fun in your stream. Oh, let me uh, shout out. I don't remember how does that work. Uh, is it an exclamation point or is it something else? I'm gonna try that. Like sure, written H. That works. It didn't work. Oh, it works! OMG! Like sure, is like the coolest streamer ever. She's a VTuber and a sushi making robot. Really? <laughs> Wolza. And she's always playing the funnest games like Animal Crossing and Pocket Monster. Heck yeah, Pocket Monster. Did you see her evolving? Scary the cat. This is so cool. I wanna be just like her when I grow up. Oh heck yeah, I wanna grow up someday. <laughs> Anyways. Hi Alexstra, thank you for dropping by. I'm coding so it's not about to be fun here. That's so cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Now I know everything about you. Yeah. The coding is not going good. Um, Kifo is trying his best <laughs> to help. Hopefully, hopefully I can um, do good. Um, I'll make it happen. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't go have a break uh, a headache though, so take it easy careful. <laughs> I don't wanna ruin you today. Is this the timer script gonna be the mad one? Well for now I'm just trying to learn how that works. Uh, apparently I'm not learning really good. So yeah, this for now the, the goal is to have a story go uh, come and go away. I know the feeling, I tried to learn some python once. Oh, Doma keeps telling me about the python, but I keep thinking that GG script would be the best for me. Let's use this one, okay. Are you just gonna be feeding me code? <laughs> That's okay, it's a good way to learn. Drag over the star one and star two with control at the top line. All right, so I'm gonna be in the background script here. There is nothing, so we're gonna get rid of that. And we're going to do this with control and this with control. I right. not in the function. Okay. Because I'm ready, already does it automatically. Cold when the notes enter the scene tree for the first time. I don't know what tree they're talking about. This is a star. <laughs> now, start one and star two are your reference. And you can make them do everything this way. Oh, I think I get it. Yeah, I've done that before. But it didn't start with that. And it didn't have a dollar in the other tutorial that I looked. Oh, but I think I know what you mean by doing that. Okay, this is perfect. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So now that we have this set up, now the script knows what I'm talking about when I do the star. Okay. So when you write star one visible equal false, it disappears. Also, I don't have to click on that. Okay. So in the function, right? In the function, or do I do a variable? Star one. Dot visible. Could have been easier, just show and hide that would be like anyway, equal false. Uh, 
and true it comes back let's start with the function ready that's fine that way we can make star 2 invisible okay so we're gonna make star 2 invisible because star 1 will have to show at the beginning so star 2 is not visible but star 1 is visible so we're going to do here star 1 dot visible equal true because it comes there right yeah exactly so we have the star one visible whatever and i start to invisible okay well it should wait a minute let's go back to the script so if i do that do you see it when i do that by the way what the hell do you see it no you don't see it how can i make you see the progress why is it so weird okay i think i need to do something here um okay let's go to here i think okay we need to make it smaller does it need to be in here It's gonna smoosh my stars <laughs> the ones that are here but for now it's gonna be okay i feel like this is better that way and then smaller and you smaller like that Okay, wait, you were telling me stuff. Um, because it comes later. Not make a variable. For your timeout equal false. Here. For timeout equal false. It goes in line 5 at the start. Make it the blue square. That's easier than this way from her. Perfect. Okay. But how can I make you see when I click on that? Okay, well, it, it does work because I see one star and I don't see the other one, but you can't see that on the screen. Why is it not? capturing that window as well Does that work if I do that? Okay, so that's the debug window Hopefully that works Oh wait, now you've got two stuff debug can you see it what the hell i hate everything why is it not showing the debug you're supposed to show the you're called debug you're called debug you suck okay well um let's get rid of that I'll find a way to show it to you later. All right, so make it double. Okay, do we just need one timer to happen once? Um, I think no. We need the first timer for the first star and the second timer for the second star. So wait time. The other one was five seconds, so that one should be ten because that's five second later. Or. all right we keep those two although we don't need them <laughs> well if we don't need them i don't mind getting rid of them
Because if we do one shot, oh, sorry. Um, like, all oh, start delay. Can we process mode in here? Priority. Priority. Can I put a different priority? Priority two, and that one is priority one. I mean, in my head, it, it sounds like it's good, <laughs> but obviously, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Thread group. Uh, maybe I can like name it a different name. It's uh, it's timer one and timer two. Yeah, that'd be good, okay. Timer 1. Timer 2. Um, so... Should I put them in here as well? So when it start, it's visible. And when it start, it's invisible. When variation timeout equal... Uh, try this. We need a listener. One script listens to another node. Yeah, uh, mm, sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. out for a sec so you said ready function is done put the var timeout at the start instead like that before function sorry I should have read until the end um, before the function Click line 16, yeah, 19 now, yeah, the end, sure, I click, you want me to put that here, click on timer 1, and you want me to drop it like that? No? Okay, on the left. Wait, oh. Click on that. Yeah, click. I don't want to get rid of that. I can get rid of that. Just one click was fine and selected. Oh, okay, yeah, I selected it. Uh huh. Now, top right. Instead of inspector, click nodes. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's new. Um, there we get an overview of what the notes. Oh, really? Oh, that that's that makes things easier, no? Timer, timeout. Okay. Child. Uh huh. Drag timeout into your script. It doesn't want to be dragged. Timeout's got kind of like a time parameter. Should I control it? Controls and change. Double click. I will click. Oh, okay. I have a window coming out. Uh, connect. I connected. I've got this now. Okay. I've got this now. Wait, where is my script? Wait, I'm on timer two. Yeah. Oh, you were telling me to do timer one. I did timer two. No, it's fine. 
Timer one. Ti timer one, and we can do it. Wait. And then we can double click and okay. Now we've got this. Hurry! Yeah! Hurry! It's in the wrong script now. Wait, I ask you? Hold on! You, you said click on timer one on the left. Just one click is fine now. Top right and still having. Okay, now drag out into the script or double click array. Uh, delete each times to background script. Okay. A background script. Oh, what is this? Delete both. Not that. <laughs> this is so much harder than 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 Celeste. <laughs> okay, let's be let's be like okay. We are here. We've got this. If I double click it, it's here. It doesn't want. Wait, what? It doesn't want to go to the. Okay, let's delete that again. We want to be here, but when I'm here, then I've got this. I don't have the thing. Put the stuff in background script back. Did I delete something? What, what do I want to put back? Delete only the sprite 2D script. The sprite 2D. Sprite 2D. I delete, okay. Deleted our process function, but we don't need it. It's whatever, okay. Erase your. What? <laughs> you, you said sprite 2D and delete the script! That's what I did! Leave our background script. That's the good one. Undo. Um, Control Z, right? It's not working. <laughs> uh, undo is not working. It's a Control Z to undo, no? Why is it not working? Undo. Connect timeout. What? Oh, wait. I need to watch more tutorials, I think. Keep deleting the wrong one, I'm sorry. Did it? Okay. And no. Oh, come on, I did the control Z. Okay, here we go. So, we were happy with that, right? Okay, yay! Yay. So that we, we like that one. Control S please. Okay. I did control S. I don't know what that means. You could ask me to transfer you a million dollars. That would do it right now. <laughs> I've, got, I've got no idea. Um So here we have the script that says that we've got a star one and a star two and we have a timeout. That is visible and invisible. It's saved. Oh yeah, control else means saved. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that it wasn't the control to transfer a million dollars. We need the listener in this script. We need a listener. You want me to put you in there? <laughs> What's a, what? I, I've watched a few tutorials. Nobody talked about listeners. Try that again. It will ask you where it goes, I'm pretty sure. Who's the listener? Click timer one. Look at the note.
Oh. Doesn't want. Should I do a display capture? to show you no no it did work careful you did perfectly good you did perfectly good but i wanted to show you but it doesn't want to show you um okay i'm gonna do a display i don't think i have anything to hide in here so do that can you see it now Woo! it shows you can't repeat that for a time or two and have stuff happen when it times out as well i saw okay so good job kifo good job okay i'm gonna hide the display because it gets confusing. I don't like the display one. There's too much stuff on the screen. Alright, so it worked. It worked. Perfect. Although when I want it worked. Okay, so we 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 done it. <laughs> I mean you would have done it in five minutes. It took me fifty-five minutes to get here. <sighs> it's exhausting. But yay, Kipo! Yay! Thank you! Alright. Okay, so... I mean, you you are on the Discord, so you kind of know what kind of game I want to make. It's all just having more experience, nothing else. Well, you, you might not believe me when I tell you that I have watched multiple tutorials over the past few weeks. And I'm still really not truly there. I read your idea. So basically, right now, I'm not really doing the actual thing. It's just because if I do, um, if I do like a farming simulation, the things are going to have to come out of the ground. So I'm just using a, a star, a sky to make like things show out as if it was coming through the sky this is important learning yeah so i'm going little steps by little steps i'm gonna try and make appear different types of stories at different timings and later on i could use the same logic in the farm simulation Anyways, <laughs> I was having a lot of a hard time today because it kept crashing, but finally it's not crashing anymore. Click back on story one note, okay? The note tree and setting up listeners will be a big deal for all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it will. Um, click back on story one. stuff in the inspector you can modify in script so the inspector is here to make things easier that's so funny all the tutorials i i looked it was everything in here i don't really remember anyone touching anything here unless they were like putting textures and visuals and stuff i guess they were just doing it like the original way 
So visibility layer, that's gonna be really helpful. I don't really know what that means. Spectre basically shows us all the variable it has and we can call. Check texture, maybe there is something fun. I'm not sure what inherit means. Nearest linear, nearest meet map, linear meet map, nearest meet map, anisotropic. Material, I think it's the same. Empty, <laughs> use parent mat on. New canvas item material, new shader material. I can't find it now, Sag. Don't worry, it's okay. I'm just really happy that we made it work that far, <laughs> even though it might seem not much to you. Um, but I'm quite happy with that. And I have a pretty bad headache right now, so. Um, what I'm thinking of doing. By the way, Gifo, I said it yesterday. I probably won't be streaming as much anymore and I might be streaming the game sporadically but I'm gonna try and stream every Sunday to record the progress that I'm doing in my learning in my learning of the code so I'm gonna try really hard this week to do a little bit more stuff so that next Sunday I'm ready to do something more I mean today was really hectic though Best Gile, hello! Best Gile, hi! Um, I still haven't reinstalled <laughs> the game I, I forgot why it's called I forgot why it's called um, but hello! What a language? This is GDScript but basically, if the inspector says, like, coolness, then you can use the script to ma we made and use star one coolness equal 10. You could modify it. The reference then died. Let us access it all. What's coolness? Does it put sunglasses on it? Gscript, which is basically Python bestial. <laughs> I don't see coolness anywhere. Just an example, it doesn't have coolness yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, do you do the code best GL? I don't. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Okay, let's turn on the display again. This is where we're at. This is where we're at. Pow, new star. Yay! I think I'm gonna leave on this today, so I don't know if I'll be streaming next week or whatever, but I'll definitely try and be back on Sunday and do something more. I work with the C sharp. <gasps> oh my gosh, you can do C sharp. I know that you can do C sharp in, in Godot as well, but I, I chose the Godot that doesn't do the C sharp because. I don't know really what that entails. Even though, even though I'm kind of sad if you stream less, it's probably the best for me actually. I need to reduce Twitch <laughs> so I can still catch you. Yeah, you can always catch me on the weekends, but there are a lot of games that we still have ongoing. Wait, what if we try to make that in the loop? Nah, nah, nah. 
it's okay, let's forget about that. It's just stupid thoughts. We're stupid thoughts. I'm too tired. Um, I'll make it happen. But yeah, um, I do want to finish any games that we still have ongoing, but... You know, slowly. Just slowly. I'll try to keep Sunday for doing this. And sometimes maybe I'll just do that for a couple hours and then play again. I don't know. Do it not good though. <laughs> just yet one shot on the timer. Really? It's gonna It's gonna make them both do the stuff. Um timer. One shot. Alright. You tell me. Does that work? Every five seconds it's gonna change. And we modify script slightly. Oh okay. <laughs> So, uh, okay. But I'm gonna try really to learn stuff so that it's not as struggled every Sunday. Although today I spent three hours trying to hook up my tablet to the computer and it didn't work. So I wanted to be able like, to draw quickly and add stuff quickly and put it back in there. It's not working. And then I tried for like an hour or so and it kept crashing. But now it's not crashing anymore, so it's pretty cool. Now that listener does it every five seconds, but it can't make it double visible. So put an if star visible. I'm just gonna copy this which is just right. Where do I put it? Star visible. Now I put it here. In the time and function itself, the line fifteen. Do I replace that? Delete the other stuff, replace. statement after expression found identifier in instead expected and found identifier instead there's nothing though oh there's lots of mixed use of tabs and spaces for identification Should just take it off like that. No. Expected statement found indent instead. That one. Unexpected else in class body. It 
doesn't like the elves. Did I take it off? No. Expected end of file. Expected end of statement after expression. Else. I forgot the dot, okay. An indent distortion. Place there. Oh, that's me. Put a space where I shouldn't. That was my bad. Um, okay, now it's not happening anymore. So he doesn't want to. He wants one. So what's what's the issue here? After if yeah, or just if if alone if should be alone. Oh boy, we're feeling an if. I'm sorry, that's on me. It's okay! Like that? No? I don't know what you mean by feeling an if. <laughs> I heard that also. Maybe it's the case sensitive like that. It didn't want a big if, maybe. The if was right. <laughs> yes, case sensitive. Yeah! Yeah, I fixed it. It's still not happy about it. But we have less errors! <laughs> we got less errors. Okay. Else is too far in. Okay. So, probably that one as well. No? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Less errors! Less errors! Okay, expected indented block after if block. So, should I indent that? Oh. Ooh, so many errors. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Nice, right? Expected stand on phone else instead. Well, yeah, sometimes life goes differently. The next line after if is tab. This one? Does that mean that one too? No. Oh yeah! Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> what did we do with that? I forgot. What were we doing? <laughs> um, okay, let me see. Do it too long. No, don't worry! I'm glad that we're making it work somehow. Uh oh. Oh, the second story is not showing. The second story is not showing anymore. Star one now switches. Oh yeah, because we have just star one. No worries. Okay, so we need to put star two. Copy the whole block with the function or just that? I think you mean just that. And we do star 2 instead.
crazy. I don't understand anything that's happening, but it's happening anyways. It's happening anyways. I don't know why, but it's happening. Okay, I'm going to be studying this and I'm gonna try and like stuff. So, no wonder why it takes 50,000 lines of code to make a gun. We just told it if it's there, make it disappear or otherwise show it. How about we make it into two seconds? Zero point one second is gonna go crazy. <laughs> I'm crazy. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just going to copy paste all that and put more stars in the sky That's probably going to be complicated. But I'm going to try and make it happen um, And the other thing I'm gonna try and do is that when I click it It disappears so I'm gonna have to learn the click comments to make it disappear I'm gonna try and look up all of that and make it happen next Sunday Delete all other scripts. Alright. There's nothing here. I can delete that. This is the background we keep, and this is. There's nothing in here. Check the file system bottom left. <laughs> Bottom of the file system. Here? What do you want me to do with that? That's the script, right? See the files that end in GD? Yeah? We also have script, cogs. I don't know what a cog is. Cogs except our background go by. Oh, the cog is that. I delete that. The real, I delete that. The file being removed are required by other resources in order for them to work. I don't think he should be removed. Yes, are you sure? All right. Remove. Remove. Uh, except the background, so that is not a background, so remove. Now we've got a background. Okay. I left the background. Okay, let's do it again. Cancel. What did I do? What's happening? We launch a new. There you go. In my head, that's how the story speaks. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm getting really tired. I'm gonna go to make it tidy. Great, I love tidy. Um, control S. Here we go. I saved in the scene mode. Heck yeah. It's still here though. But I guess it's fine. Click Sprite 2D. And in the inspector, we change it as no script. And there are no... Don't 
so? Yeah. That one? Clear? Empty. Oh, okay. So should I do the same here? Years to people to make again. <sighs> Thank you, people. Your help is very, very much appreciated. Without you, well, <laughs> nothing much would happen. This was actually fun for me. I I like feeling useful. You are so useful all the time. There are so many games I wouldn't have been able to finish without you. And now I have a star going hello and goodbye, <laughs> thanks to you. <laughs> Great, I'm exhausted. Mm, I think it's time to go. Ooh. I'll try and figure out the display stuff, if I should do a display capture or not. I don't think there's anything in my screen that is really secret, but still I'd rather not show my obvious possible I will also do the next game jam I'll keep you upgraded heck yeah feel free to let me know your last one was really fun that's crazy to that in 48 hours <laughs> I am tired okay Alright then, well, I'll see you um, eventually. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here and for um, being fun and nice. I don't know how you do it. I don't have the teaching, um, the teaching thing in me. I don't have it. Um, if someone was like me, I would just be losing patience so quickly. <laughs> I'll be losing patience in like one second. But you're not, so thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, well, that was fun. Um, I guess now that's what the channel is going to be about. Making the game that I want to make. <sighs> if I possibly can. Ocean! Thank you so much. Thank you. And take care also the first red panda is almost done. Oh my gosh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Red panda, red, red panda rules. Red panda really, really good. Yeah! Thank you. Alright, guys, I will see you. And give all you one last time, so congratulations. Bye, guys! Bye bye! Have a lovely rest of your day, night, morning, afternoon, all that in between, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye 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 b